It's Ty Inspire and welcome back to the channel. Today I have someone very special here with me. I'm so excited <laughs> for her to be here and to talk with me today about Ghana and her experiences in Ghana. She's had some good ones too, I can tell you right now. So welcome Rona. Hello, <laughs> yes, this is Rona. This is my friend and we met. How did we meet? Oh, it's Instagram, On Instagram, yeah. Yeah. And I feel like you and James, did you guys know each other before we knew each other? No, we okay. met on Instagram and then I questioned you about your um clothing. Oh, you sent me to him. Oh, okay. Yes. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's how that happened. <laughs> So anyway, let me let, let's just go back because we've already started in our conversation. You know, we'll we'll do that. We'll do that. <laughs> but let's go back and talk about why you came to Ghana. Because yeah, let's just start there. I was gonna say something, but I'll wait. Why did you come to Ghana? Okay, so um, back in I think November 2018, my mother passed away, mm -hmm. and I had been promising myself a trip. Um, to the motherland on or before my uh, milestone birthday, which was uh, coming February. Okay. Um, and so that's pretty much why, you know, is because of prom promise to myself and then the, all the emotions with my mom passing, it, it just kind of catapulted me or, or motivated me to just do it. Mm. And yeah, so that's how I ended up in Africa. And then from there, I was like, magic happened. Right, I see. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So she came here. Um, just so, what was your interest in coming to Africa? Like, was there a draw? Was there, you know, a, a special reason why you thought I need to go there? I want to go there. Well, I've always had a draw to Africa, just because I feel like that's where we all yeah. originate from. Right, right. And um, for me, like I. I was always into a thing for symbols and okay. ancient Egypt and all that, mm -hmm. but not and doing jewelry and stuff. Not even realizing that Ghana is where I think where it was originated. Mm -hmm. You know, so okay. there's just so yeah. many ties in to that. But just me being a black woman and being you know proud of my natural hair and skin, yes. like you know, that, that's the first place I want to visit to go overseas. Right. You know it wasn't, but right, yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. You feel that connection, yeah, most definitely, uh -huh. yeah. I see. Yeah. So was Ghana your first African country? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. And so then you <laughs> came, you visited, and what happened, girl? Well, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> she ain't done it. So, um, so I came with a tour group. Okay. Okay. And they had a welcoming ceremony for us. Uh -huh. And um, at the welcoming ceremony, they had a bunch of different vendors that were, you know, there for to sell and stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, everybody's so pushy and they want you to buy. Yeah, them. exactly. But yeah. I, I go over to this one booth and there's this cool guy, you know, standing there and he's like, "Wow, you want to buy something? You can." I like it. <laughs> <laughs> And that made me like want to get everything on his table. So I'm, right. I'm grabbing this, I'm grabbing this, I'm grabbing this. And then I see a pair of pants on a mannequin. Mm -hmm. Like these, those, um, what do you call those? Palazzo pants? Okay. Oh my God, girl. I fell in love. I said, oh, look at those pants. I gotta have some. Ooh. So James, uh, <laughs> the, the tailor, uh, he was going. He was going to take the pants off the mannequin. I was like, "Child, do you see all of this?" <laughs> I, was like, I can't take like, those. So don't even worry about it. Don't take yeah. those off. He, was, he looked me up and down. And he was like, mm, "I can make you a pair of pants. Give me your phone number." Got that good guy. There you go. Out there, you gotta learn. You gotta learn. Yes. <laughs> and then um, I gave him my number. And then maybe two days later, he sent a text message. He had made that pair of pants and like two other things. Wow. And he was like, well, can I come to the, where you guys are lodging so you can try these pieces on? And at first I was like, I don't know. I don't think I want, yeah. you know. Like it's not. Yeah. It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> and then, but I said, he said, well, I have other things that I made for other people. So mm -hmm. just let me, you know, just try them on. And I was like, 
like, yeah, but I don't like him. I'm not a mm -hmm. <laughs> So he came and he never measured me at all. Okay. And no, when he came and I tried those pants on, they fit like a dream. Wow. And then two days later, we went on our first date. Wow. <laughs> and it was wrap up. It that. was history. Uh, yes. <laughs> wow. What, the, yeah. what an amazing connection. Yeah, and special. then, mind you, no measurements. No He did measurements. not measure her at all. He just looked and said, okay, I got it. Yep. yep. Girl, he yep. was definitely the one. Yes. One. <laughs> <laughs> and so now, um, last year, I was able to even attend your beautiful wedding. Mm -hmm. Well, 2020. Was it last year? Um, 2020. We're 2020. 2020. Oh, 2020. <laughs> <laughs> the year before last. Oh, yeah, time I'm goes so fast. Yes, yes. Yeah, because December was last December. Yeah. Okay, so we're just in January. Okay, yeah. now I got it. I got it. I'm good. Okay, so anyway, that is the story about how you ended up in Ghana. And so now you're kind of living back and forth between America and Ghana. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, it's surreal because um, we don't get to spend much time together. It's like mm -hmm. literally once a year mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. But we really maximize the time next. And plus, um, doing the business, mm -hmm. you know, it really feels like we're together. Yeah. Even though we're not. Right. Yeah, it's, it's been cool. Yeah, and it's yeah. temporary. Mm -hmm. You know, things will change yeah. and evolve, yeah. you know, as time goes on. So that's that's good. Yeah. yeah that's good. <laughs> so now, aside of Ghana and finding love here in Ghana and getting married, um, Rona has a lot of other things going on. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. So tell us about. She's also a musician. She's I a singer. Am. Yes. Yeah. So yes. tell us a little bit about your singing career. Uh, maybe what you do now. Well, um, right now I, I do it part time. Mm -hmm. um, so I work. Um, I do like clerical work. Mm -hmm. I'm nine to five, and then I do the music. You know, six to ten. Right. Or whatever hours. Right. Yes, I know. <laughs> yes, I'm a singer songwriter, uh -huh. and I do um, background work for all kinds of people. Okay. Um, yeah. Melba Moore, Shante Moore. Really? Green, wow. Okay. Um, Cy Smith. Wow. Like every oh. anybody you could pretty much name, I've worked with. Like wow. you know. Um, Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even know that. See? I'm still learning. <laughs> yeah, we're still uh, developing our friendship as well. And I'm enjoying it. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that's awesome. Yeah. But you've also written some songs, you've all put out some music. Yeah, so tell them so, where they can hear your music. So yeah, so I am a solo artist, so if you wanna listen to some soul music R and mm -hmm. um I do have a website, our um uh, Ross Just type in Ronald Ross, okay. everything will come up. Uh -huh. And um, I have two albums out right now, and I'm working on a third. Yes. So that's been exciting. Yeah. I've done a couple of music videos here for that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah. So you definitely have to keep your eyes out for her. Yeah. Because she's got some amazing things going on. Mm -hmm. And she can sing very well. Oh, thank yes. you. <laughs> so, <laughs> absolutely. So, yeah. Um, that is, I'm going to put all of her information in the description box for you so you can follow her. She has a YouTube channel too. Yes. So you can follow oh, her yeah, on I YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> we got to no, get her to be more active. It, yes, I have to be more active. We're working on it. Okay. Yeah. So do YouTube and then follow her on, on, on the social media guys yes, and support yes. her. And she's a wonderful, wonderful person. As you can see, beautiful personality. Um, also, support their clothing line. Talk about that. Yes. Um, give us the website and yes. you know, what so, you sell. Um, so, James and I have a clothing company called Adwo Kwabana. We sell African garments um, that he tailor makes. Or, you know, or not. I mean, he makes, you know, mm -hmm. stuff for the gamut. But you can have clothes tailor made. And I make the earrings for the line. So, we have jewelry and, you know, clothing. Yeah. So, AdwoKwabana.com. Awesome. And I don't know if you don't remember, I did a video with James quite some time ago 
Um, so that is her husband, James. So you can also go back and look at that video and check it out. And he also gives some more information where you can find him here. Yes. Um, so you can get things online and here in Ghana. Yep. Yeah. Thank you for talking to me today. Thanks for having yes. me. This was fun. Yes, it was. <laughs> so guys, give us some show us some love and don't forget to subscribe here and like and share with your friends and let's let's keep up the good momentum we have going on. So until next time. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> All of me a friendship that will never end When you are weak, I'm weak and strong Helping you to carry on Now I believe I can be all I dream The connection